Hello everyone, it's Pajama33 coming at you with another releases video. Today we'll be going over the very interesting November releases for Gemini Jets. Now, I saw someone made a video today. I just checked my subscriptions and someone made a video for this. So, that's how I figure out that they're out. I don't check it every day. Um, I know some people do, but I don't. So yeah, I figured out there are some new models. There's a lot of them for 1-400 scale, which I'm very interested in. Some of them anyway. Again, um, I will start up soon. Um, start up collecting models again, but not now. I have some stuff to work on first. Maybe when I, maybe when school finishes or when I have a break. But for now, I'm just gonna make these videos releases, uh, crash course, and more FSX videos. So yeah, let's get started. So first up, one four hundred scale. Today, we, first up, we've got the Aero Mexico MBR one hundred and ninety. Now, just uh say with these um they're nice i really like them because they give people a second chance like for this one uh they give more opportunities because a lot of people make airports if they're realistic airports they want to have aeromexico but all they do is big airplanes and aeromexico doesn't really send that many 737s to the northern united states i mean the southern excuse me so, and they send these planes like that. I know they send these down to Texas. They send them, um, they send them to Miami. So yeah, this plane is really nice for those airports because finally they're getting, finally they're obeying our commands, if you will. Next up is an Air Canada 77-8. If you're a Canadian collector and you didn't get the first one, you have a second chance. I already have this plane, not this exact same thing, but the older version. Um, by the way, I might be selling some planes that I don't need. Because I'm committing to the Seattle airport and not necessarily any other one. So I'm not going to be focusing on those other models that I don't need. So I might be start selling them. I'm not sure. But maybe. Next up we have a 737-900 Alaska. Very nice looking plane. I will definitely get this one for my Seattle airport um, for, at the time. In fact, I might start up like very soon. So yeah, prepare for that. So I will get this plane soon. Next up is an American 777-333. Um, I really wanted this plane, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And of course, when I start doing Seattle, they release one. So, yeah, good for you. Good for you, Gemini. I'm not making fun of them. I'm just being crazy. So yeah, this is a nice model for you. Didn't get the old, older few, and you still want one. So yeah, there you go. Patience, you have been rewarded. Next up, we have a nice little, just a little insert, like a little um, fun. We have a British Airways 747 in the Victorious livery. Um, you can see that they have the Rio capitalized concerning the Olympics. I guess the only thing that they did was like the Lufthansa did with the noses and for the Euro games. I think it was Euro, I don't know. They had the soccer ball on for the nose and now they have the gold because England came in second for most gold medals won behind, of course, the glorious country that we call the United States of America. So. Yeah, there you go. Cool little plane. It's also nice if you want a British Airways 747, which they are becoming rare, but they do send like five or seven of them to New York every day, so more the more the merrier. Next up, we have a JetBlue A320-200 Sharklets. Um, if you're doing like a New York or Boston or, uh, I don't know, any other JetBlue base, get it. Um, the more JetBlue planes, the merrier, I say. But I'm not going to need that many since JetBlue doesn't really do that many routes to Seattle. So yeah, I don't know why they made this one. Just gonna start off the bat, because this one hasn't even been delivered. Doesn't even have a livery painted yet, and I didn't even know that they're getting an A three fifty until now. Well, I probably did because I did make a Lufthansa crash course history. I might have mentioned it, but I forgot about it. So yeah, I don't know why they made this. Um, I probably won't get it unless they do start routes with the A three fifty to the states for the Lufthansa. But that will probably be like a few years. Next is a little classic, uh, Pan Am DC-8, cool looking plane, very nice, um, I won't get it obviously because I'm not a classics collector, but it's a nice plane if you're into that. Next up we have a Philippines um, Airlines 777-300 in the 75th anniversary livery, um, very cool looking plane, um, highly recommend it if you're doing like Vancouver or Los Angeles or New York, because they do fly this plane there. Um, and again, they have the tug included. I guess that's a thing that they're doing. 
Um, I have no idea what that is. If you did get the KLM from last month, uh, this one, or is it this one? If you got it, you, it came with a matching top. I, I really like to see that, like watch one of it, watch a review video or something to see what that is, because I haven't yet, and I haven't checked either. So I will, and if there isn't, I'll ask for one. So yeah, there's that. It comes with a tug, and very interesting. Next up, we have a Saudi Cargo 747-8. Very nice looking plane. Um, this is the 7... What am I talking about? Never mind. Uh, this is a very cool looking plane, as I said. Um, I don't think they do rest of the US. I know, of course, they're in um, Riyadh and Jeddah and Saudi Arabia. I don't know whether they fly these to the United States. They might, like New York, but I'm not sure. Next up is a very interesting one, um, a 737-700 Southwest in the Triple Crown one. Um, it looks good. I'm kind of iffy about it though because the winglets look a bit wonky and tiny. This looks like a 737-300 to be honest rather than a 737-700. But I probably will get it. I'm not sure if I need any more Southwest than I already have. But I'll look into it. Next up, for some reason, they did another United 747. They don't really operate, operate these that much, only out of San Francisco and Chicago. They use these, so if you want it, go ahead. Like for your make believe airport, but I'm not getting it. Next up is a strange one, a UT Air 737-500. A very cool looking plane. I really like the details on the wings and the tip and the tips with like the red. Don't know why they made it though, because um, I don't think anyone I know is going to get it. Because UT Air, of course, is Russian, based out of that third airport in Russia, uh, Nokovo Airport. And last but not least, a Vietnam Airlines A321. Maybe in the new colors? I think so, yeah, in the new colors. So I guess this, the UT Air, and the British are kind of surprises, along with this one, are kind of surprises. So if you want to get them, go ahead, just for the like collection purposes, but I'm not. And second... Last but not least, we got the 1 200 scale. I won't be getting any of these because I am not a 1 200 scale collector. First is a 717. Very nice plane. Nothing I can see that's out of. It's not right. Next is an Iberia A340 600. Very cool looking plane. Um, I wouldn't get it though if it came at 1 400. No, some people would though. Next is an Interjet A320 200 Sharkless. I guess this is a response to the um, to the form 400 scale they made last month or the month before. Anyway, next is a Pan Am 747-100. Oh, this looks awesome! I really like the detail. Clipper sparking, spark, sparking wave, sparkling wave. It's called. Oh crap! What did I do? Go back. Alright, next is a Spirit A321 Sharklets. Um, of course, you have the Howdy on the winglets, or whatever. Howdy here, or something else here. But Spirit's strange. Next is the Thai Smile A320, that's 200 in the Adventure Time livery. Um, I don't even watch that show, just to get set, set the record straight. If there was any record that needed to be set straight. Um, Thai Smile, in case you don't know, is like a sub subsidiary of Thai that operate within Thailand and some of the Indo-Chinese areas. Um, next is ne last. Oh, I don't, I don't. I didn't see this one. The United Express Embraer One Twenty. Um, I don't even know if they operate these anymore. I think they do, but to like very tiny airports and only out of San Francisco. Don't hold me on that. But it's in a new livery, of course. But this is a classics. Not very, not very classic, but if you want to get it, just like for collecting purposes to hang it in your room or something, there you go, go ahead. Um, I th I'm thinking of getting a Northwest 1200 scale, just for collection purposes, just to make an ode to Northwest, since it was my favorite airline before Delta ate it. So yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, tell me in the comment section what models you'll be getting. I'll probably be getting the Aeromexico, uh, maybe, I'm not sure, definitely this one. Um, Probably not this one, um, and maybe this one, I'm not sure. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video, rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Write in the comments which model you're gonna, which models you're going to get, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one.